In this video, we'll calculate the work required to pull part of a rope up onto a bridge. A rope that's 70 meters long and 30 kilograms in mass is hanging from a bridge. We want to set up an expression for the work needed to pull 50 meters of the rope up onto the bridge so that just 20 meters are still dangling. I like to think about these rope problems by cutting up my rope into small segments and figuring out how much work is done on each segment. Usually I like to set them up using a variable, say x, where x equals 0 is at the top of the rope. And so in this case, here would be x equals 50 and x equals 70 would be down at the bottom of the rope. The part of the rope between x equals 0 and x equals 50 is going to get pulled up and coiled, and the part of the rope in between x equals 50 and x equals 70 is just being dragged along for the ride until it's dangling down. The length of each small, small segment I'll call delta x. Now let's consider separately what happens to a piece of the rope on the top 50 meters and on the bottom 20 meters before we start pulling it. A piece of rope in the top 50 meters at a distance of x from the top will go exactly x meters up. We can find the force on that chunk of rope by calculating its mass and multiplying it by 9.8, the acceleration due to gravity. So the mass of a chunk of rope is going to be given by its linear density 30 kilograms over 70 meters times the length of the chunk of the rope. The force on that chunk of the rope is going to be its mass, so 3 sevenths delta x, times the 9.8 from the acceleration due to gravity. Now to calculate the work on that chunk, we're going to take the force times the distance, so that's 3 sevenths delta x times 9.8 times x. And to find the work on the entire top 50 meters, that's going to be the integral of all these pieces. So 3 sevenths times 9.8 times x, and the delta x becomes a dx. For the bounds of integration, we're going to look at what's the smallest x value for that top 50, and that's x equals 0. And what's the largest x value for that part of the rope? That's x equals 50. So those become our bounds. Now let's look at the bottom 20 meters. Any chunk in that piece is going to go straight up by 50 meters. So its distance is going to be fixed at the distance it travels is going to be 50. Its mass of a little chunk of rope in that part is still going to be 3 sevenths delta x, and the force is still going to be 3 sevenths delta x times 9.8. So the work on that little chunk is going to be 3 sevenths delta x times 9.8 times 50. And the total work on that bottom 20 meters is going to be the integral of 3 sevenths times 9.8 times 50, and the delta x becomes dx. Now our bounds are the smallest x value for that part of the rope, that's x equals 50, to the largest x value for that part of the rope, x equals 70. Now we could have calculated the work done on this part of rope without an integral, because since the rope is just going, this part of the rope is just going straight up, we can think of it as a constant force times a constant distance of 50 meters. The force is going to be the density times the length of rope, which is the 20 meters, times the 9.8, and the distance is that 50 meters. Now, if we had integrated this expression, we would get exactly the same number as we got by thinking of it as a constant force times distance. Our final answer is what we get by adding together these two expressions. That's the integral from 0 to 50 
of 3 sevenths times 9.8 times x dx plus our 3 sevenths times 20 times 9.8 times 50. Now it's also possible to set up this integral by using a variable, say y, to be 0 at the bottom of the rope. In that case, that bottom 20 meters goes up to y equals 20, and the top 50 meters are from y equals 20 to y equals 70. Let's set up the integral in this way also. So there's not that much that changes. I'm using y now instead of x, so my length of my little chunk of rope is going to be delta y. But my mass of any chunk is still going to be still going to be 3 sevenths times delta y, and my force on a little chunk is going to be 3 sevenths delta y times 9.8. The distance, however, is going to be different. If I'm at position y from the bottom, then I'm going to need to go 70 minus y to get up to the top of the bridge, at the bridge. So my distance is going to be given by 70 minus y. So my work on a chunk in the top 50 meters is going to be the integral of force times distance. So 3 sevenths times 9.8 times 70 minus y, and my delta y becomes my dy. My bounds of integration are also different. I'm looking at the top 50 meters. That's from y equals 20 from the bottom to y equals 70 from the bottom. So those are my bounds of integration. That was for the top 50 meters of the rope. Now let's look at the bottom 20 meters. Again, the force is just going to be 3 sevenths times delta y times 9.8. And the distance, like in the previous version, is going to be 50 meters no matter what, because each chunk of the bottom part of the rope is just getting lifted up by 50 meters. So my work here is going to be the integral of 3 sevenths times 9.8 times 50 dy. Now my bounds of integration are based on where I am at the beginning, so that's from y equals 0 to y equals 20. Once again, we could integrate this and we get 3 sevenths times 9.8 times 50 times 20 which is exactly what we get thinking about it as a fixed distance of 50 times a fixed force coming from the fact that we have 20 meters of rope. I can add these two expressions together and get my total work. Either way we set up our integral, although it looks different, will give us the same numerical answer once we integrate. And that numerical answer is 5,250 plus 4,200, which is 9,450 joules. In this video, we set up an integral, or a couple integrals, to describe the work to pull up part of a rope onto a bridge.